guys, welcome back to Mark D Outdoors. I am Mark D. We are here getting gassed up, heading out to the Eastern Shore to Blackwater Refuge, hopefully to catch some snakehead today. Who knows, maybe a couple bass, I don't know. But we're gonna get that Big Fish 105 out on the water for the first time. Gonna start my trip and uh, I'll catch you when I get there. See ya. Getting the kayaks loaded up down here at the soft launch. First time taking the big fish 105 out on the water, getting it set up. The crate locked down. These bungees right here. Make sure it doesn't go anywhere. We'll see how she does. So. About to get out here in the water. First time down here at Blackwater Refuge. So, as you can see, nice and foggy behind me. Hopefully the sun comes out here pretty soon because it's a little chilly. But let's get out here in the water and see what we can do and test out those Big Fish 105. All right, so far, I am loving this kayak. So, already, I already know my decision is probably going to be uh, the Big Fish 105. But, uh, you know, we still have a ways to go. So, we're out here, Blackwater Refuge. Neither one of us has gotten really anything yet. My buddy got a, a little perch, but that's about it. But as far as the kayak goes, the only thing when you stand up... The scupper holes, a lot of water comes in through there. So the cockpit is a little, you know, wet. Um, outside of that, this kayak is great. The stability is great. As you can see, like I'm off leaning. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm leaning off to the left. You can see, you can feel that second pontoon catch or the outside pontoon catch for that secondary stability. So, Overall, pretty awesome kayak. All right, y'all, I am in the truck on my way home from today's excursion. Well, it was not successful as far as a fishing day, but it was successful as far as the maiden voyage for the Big Fish 105. I love that kayak, guys. So I did shoot and show you guys some stability stuff. <laughs> I do apologize though because I didn't have much footage from this trip because dummy me left the action camera in the truck so all I had was my phone and I it was a little difficult getting out my phone trying to record video while I was fishing and while I was doing things so do apologize for that the next time I won't forget that I was just so excited to get the kayak out on the water as soon as we pulled up I neglected to uh, pack it on the kayak so sorry but I will say that first of all my first time down in Blackwater it was awesome loved it definitely will be going there again uh, if you want to see bald eagles that's the place to go uh, didn't catch any fish but plenty of bald eagles and plenty of beavers so uh, as far as the kayak goes, I did show you guys that it's very easy to stand. One of the reasons why it's easy to stand is, like I said, because of that cathedral hall, you can definitely feel how stable it is as soon as I stepped on it. As soon as I stepped on it to get in from the, from the shore, I knew I was going to be able to test it out because it was so easy just to stand and then sit down. Another reason why is because I had the seat in the highest setting and with the seat in the highest setting it makes it extremely easy to stand and it didn't even I didn't even have to use the stand assist strap so really easy. Now with that seat in a high position as well, 
I loved it because I was able to keep a tackle box or a plano box right underneath. Uh, and I switched lures a bunch today because I was out there for about seven and a half hours. I didn't catch crap. So um, they come in handy having it right under underneath. The only issue that I have is when I stood up, water did come up from the scupper holes, okay? So water came up and came up into the cockpit and the water did get into the side storage like compartments. Uh, so where, my, where I had my pliers and my fish grips. So water did get in there. I, I probably will end up getting stuck with scupper plugs to plug into those front holes. To prevent that, the capacity is 380 pounds and I weigh 230 pounds, so way under that. I don't have I don't have 50 pounds or 100 pounds worth of gear, so I know I'm well weight, well under that. But I did have water come into the cockpit once I stood up. Sitting down, no issues. No water came up out of the scupper holes at all. No problem there. But so, yes, I will be sticking with the Big Fish 105. Sorry to see my Mokin 10 go. I love that thing. I only had it. I only uh, took it out two trips, but I'm going to have to stick with the Big Fish 105 as my go-to kayak for these fishing trips. So, yeah, that's all. I'm going to get back here, get home, get all cleaned up, have a brewski or a glass of bourbon, and uh, finish up tonight with family. So, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, click the like button, please. It lets me know you guys want to see more content. If you guys don't like it, it lets me know, hey, I'm not doing a good job here and you guys don't want to see my stuff. But um, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. Yeah, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. And uh, I will catch you all on the flip side. See ya.